Bro, and also just for the record, going forward, you're probably going to see at some point that my do-rag is gonna look a little bit messed up, but here's what we're gonna do, right? We're gonna ignore it. I just want everyone to just ignore it. I don't wanna see no comments. I don't wanna see no messages. I don't wanna see nothing, okay? Nobody can be perfect at all times. Just let me have my moment. Just let me have my damn moment. I didn't know. What's popping, YouTube? It's the boy Sandex. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Blah, 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 blah. Today's YouTube video is going to be something a little bit different. I decided to, I don't even know who this Derek Jackson guy is, but I guess I'm just gonna sit here and react to him airing out his scene. This is already, this already looks stupid though. Like this already looks dumb. Look at how the girl is sitting. She looks like a doppelganger fam. I, I haven't even started watching the video fam, but she looks like a doppelganger. Look at her. Oh my gosh. I'd be surprised if her, her, if her face even changed at any point in the video. What's going on guys? Derek Jackson here and today I am joined by my lovely wife, Denea. And we just <laughs> Wait. <laughs> did you see her fam? Why did the girl, the man came and introduced the wife that he's been cheating on and then the wife is gonna look at, the wife is gonna look, the wife is gonna look at him like she's flattered. She's on the internet. She's on the internet. And the wife is gonna look at him like so. Shouldn't have, babe. What the f <laughs> What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Don't piss me off. We're six seconds in and it's seven minutes, fam. I'm pissed. This is so stupid. A couple of things, you know, we understand that some of you may have already heard, maybe not, um, that this chapter of our marriage is one that was preceded by a marriage that I completely failed. Now what the f does he mean, chap? All I'm gonna keep saying in this video is what the f because what the hell does he mean by this chapter of our marriage? Giving somebody bun is a chapter. Cheating on somebody is a chapter. Being in several different relationships is a chapter in your marriage, fam. That's a chapter. All right, bro. No problem. That's all right. No worries, bro. All right. It just started around August, maybe September of last year. But you know, a lot has been said already about what was the cause and all that other stuff. Some of it is true. Some of it is completely false. But the truth is, and I'm saying it here now, is that Derek Jackson was involved with other women. <laughs> no way. Hold on. Isn't his name Derek Jackson? Why is Derek Jackson referring to himself as Derek Jackson? Here's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start coming on my channel. I'm going to start referring to myself as East End X. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to start coming on my channel and referring to myself as East End X. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, well, you know, and then East End X said, you know, blah, 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 and East End X decided to do this and he said, fam, why is this guy sitting here referring to himself in the third person and he's recording a video? He, he's the one talking. Because for a second, honestly, if I wasn't paying attention, that would have missed me. And I would have been like, oh, so Derek Jackson isn't here, cause I've never seen this nigga, right? I've never seen this nigga a day in my life. I've never heard of him, I've never seen him. I would've really sat there and been like, oh, Mr. Jackson is not actually the one that's making this 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 video, it's, it's somebody else. But this is Mr. F***ing Jackson referring to himself as Derek Jackson. Black people are gonna have to do better as a population. We have to do better. Cause this doesn't make any sense. Be clear, I'm not talking about just Casually kicking it, maybe a lunch or something like that. I'm talking about as serious as sex um, to He's like, sexual flirtation and, and meeting up and that kind of thing. And some things that otherwise may be considered okay by. Fam, every time this guy moves, he's like pulling her hand. Every time he moves, he's pulling her body. Like her body can't sit still all now. Her body just a shake up, shake up. Like her body actually can't. Her body just a jiggle out. Like her body's actually jiggle out. And she can't, like she can't move. I mean, she's just moving like wassy, like. Every second he moves, she's moving. Like, just chill out, bro. Why does he keep pulling her? In terms of like just chatting or, or checking on people or being checked on by people that I've had a previous encounter with, um, but without my wife's knowledge of it and with us having a sexual history, all of it falls under the umbrella of inappropriate, cheating, affair, stepping out. Um, de definitely not in alignment with the vows that I took. Um, and definitely not in alignment with the biblical standard of what it means to be faithful, which is the standard that I'm going by now. Now, I'm saying this public... The standard that you're going by now. Fam, it doesn't even matter what standard you're going... Regin, it actually... Let me tell you something. Because <laughs> one thing that there won't be is a way in hell. The, what, what, it, why does it matter what standard you're going by now if you've already cheated on the girl several different times? I don't even know why this young woman is sitting here. I don't even know. 
I don't know what. Let me tell you something. If it was my mom, <laughs> I'm gonna sit there and make my mom go sit down with man pan camera, sit down on top of her and give her bun. A sweet bun at that. Cause th th this, this was a sweet spice bun that was developed here. It was a sweet spice bun that was baked. Cause this doesn't make no sense. He's literally, he's, the man's gonna sit there and say, I'm not talking about a lunch or you know, like a meetup or anything like that. This nigga, this nigga is talking about having sex with multiple women and this woman is sitting here. All right, maybe it's just me, bro. It has to just be me. It has to just be me. Because I, 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 I have to be on heroin. It would have to be that. I don't know. I don't know, bro. Married to you guys. First and foremost, I'm accountable to God. Then I have to be accountable to my wife in which we've already had this conversation. I've already told her literally everything. I've given her basically a, a roll call list. If I've said hello to a woman in the last 12 years of me knowing her, she knows about it. Um, but now that it's been made so public, um, it's important that I first off let you guys know I do not stand by those actions. I don't want to encourage anybody to do that. And then secondly, I know that I cannot build a platform preaching certain things, preaching against certain things. And then in my real life, live contrary. For okay, any so hold on. He just said, the man just, let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you verbatim. Let me tell you, let me tell you, ver, let me tell you verbatim. Let me tell you verbatim what this man just said. The man just came on the camera, on the internet, on YouTube, and looked into his camera and said, yo, I can't preach and have a job and have a huge platform like I do, right? And preach certain things and then live on the contrary in my actual life. That's exact that's exactly what this nigga was doing. That's exactly what this nigga was doing. And let me tell you something. I don't know who this young man thought he was fooling fam. If this didn't come to the light and nobody got the drop about it, he would have kept doing it. So I don't know if somebody's sitting here talking about, oh, you know, like I just can't, I can't, I can't have a platform and you know live contrary to that. What the f what the f what the f what the f Oh my god, this is so stupid to me. The actions um, deserve to be held accountable. Guess what? Derrick Jackson's no exemption. He, he, he's not exempt from that. I'm also not a victim. Um, nobody made me do this. Uh, she didn't How make me or push me to. How would he have been a victim and he's cheated 700 times? What the? Who the f wrote this script? Who wrote this script? Who wrote this script? She hasn't said a f word like <laughs> she hasn't said a thing oh my days with the next person didn't make me no friend influence me it don't matter how i was raised and what trauma whatever look i made decisions i made a series of decisions that i gotta account for there's no excuse or justification i've already made that bed and have I've had to lie in it um and now we're finally getting on to the other side personally in our own healing and our own marital oneness um and now this is being made public to you guys so we're bringing that forth to you guys I'll let you know where we're at with that, but did you want to say anything? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bro, before this woman even opens up her mouth, I hope to God that she's about to say something that makes sense. <laughs> That's all I can say is I hope that this young woman is about to say something that makes sense because I don't know how anybody in their right mind can sit down and heal from somebody who has literally went and slept with several different people and is coming home to lay down with you. Do you guys know what AIDS is? Do you guys know what AIDS is? Oh my days. The man is gonna say that they've moved on to healing. Even if it's all one person multiple times, bro. Like, okay, maybe, not me, but maybe, you know, you could heal from that. But I'm there, what the, f what the hell? What have you left me with? What have you left me with? Oh my goodness. He decided that he was gonna go on the road and move like he was community buddy and then come home and lay down with his prized possession of a wife that he took vows for. It's some things that I just won't understand, but I'm sorry to this man. So I do want to just add that I agree with what he just said. There is no justification for bringing other women into our marriage on any level. And it was unacceptable. And it's not something that I tolerate or that we tolerate moving forward. And when I, I've been flooded again with messages and these things and about, you know, I need to leave or why haven't I left? And the answer is when I found out about it, I left. I did not hesitate or waste time to do so. And I stayed gone no matter how many times he came. I stayed gone and... What type of example are we setting for our young black queens? This don't make no sense. 
She's going to say that she got up and she left and she stayed away from the marriage no matter how much he... But obviously it doesn't matter how... I mean, maybe she's going to justify it and maybe maybe her mom told her to go back. I don't know and I'm about to find out. But I don't understand. Like, you, you, you stayed away for however long you stayed away and then what made you come back? Because you said you stayed away. So what would have made you turn back around and say, let me turn back around and try and mend things with a man who cheated on me seven different times? And I'm saying seven because I believe that it was seven... 700 make it honestly because he cheated on you multiple times and was running through these bitches like a tomb raider and you decided that you were going to turn back around somehow some way and try and mend it i don't get it but i guess i'm about to find out right chapter in this story um we are cont continuing to move forward and we are just now sharing that with you all and um I forgave him and most importantly God has first forgiven him and I also forgive the others as well and with that we are free and moving forward so how she know that forgive him and I, I get it some of y'all like this may come as a huge shock probably a huge disappointment I let a lot of you down um, you know if you've had a perspective shift on who Derek is hopefully it's away from anything remotely close to perfection and it is simply that you know I am a human and that does not justify anything that I did but I want anybody out there to be putting me on a pedestal if you did and I, I hate that you did that maybe I gave you cause for that and I apologize if I did um, how are you saying you don't want people to put you on a pedestal but people look at you for relationship advice and you were you were literally sitting there cheating on your girlfriend or your wife a bag of times but you don't want people to put you on a pedestal but people look up to you for relationship advice from come on bro that doesn't make sense like that doesn't make sense like that doesn't make sense i guess maybe i can understand what she's saying even though i really don't this is not something that happened one time fam like i'm sorry to say that definitely happened more than one time so it's kind of hard to sit and be like oh yeah i can fully understand where she's coming from but again who am i what do i need to understand i don't need to understand nothing right but what he just said was dumb though because i don't know what you mean if people put me on a pedestal i hate that you guys did that why the f like obviously i'm not saying you should want people to idolize you but fam like your relation just remember what your what your brand is that's what people look up to you for and you went and did the exact opposite so people are now looking up to you as someone that they can like seek relationship advice from i guess and you went and now they're looking and they're probably looking and they're like what the f I was taking relationship advice from a nigga who's been cheating on his wife for the past how many years, fam? Those who are saying, Derek, I don't want to ever listen to you again. It's totally understandable. I appreciate you while I had your support and helping me get the message out about healing and healthy relationships to so many people who needed it, myself oh. included. And for those who are going to continue to support, man, I appreciate you like never before because I know it's not going to be easy going forward, it's at least for a little while, while so many things are still fresh and attached to my name. But for everybody out there, if, if you get nothing else from what I've ever said over the last nine years or right here in this video, please get this. Nothing is right until it is right with God. Nothing works until it comes into alignment with the biblical standard of how God told us to do things, especially when we're talking about a marital, spiritual, uh, spiritual covenant. Yes. You know, you cannot do this by your own understanding, your own intelligence, yes. your own willpower, your own values. You have to have the grace of God uh, to break free from certain things, to stay away from certain things, uh, to not operate from your lowest self, whatever it may be. And it's because it's really only by God's grace that we're even able to be here on this video holding oh hands. Oh well, like a year ago, <laughs> seven, eight months ago, even, I couldn't see this happening. I thought it was over and I already had begun establishing my relationship with God. But that's the fruit of bringing things in alignment with God. And the mess that's been made, the mess that's now being made public from last year and you know, years past, that's a result of getting out of alignment with doing things God's way. So that's where I stand. Um, that's where we stand. And again, um, we appreciate you guys and we'll see you soon. Peace. I really personally just hope that he doesn't cheat on her again because that would make her look really stupid. But what do I know, nigga? Like, what do I know? I don't know nothing. So what is it? You know, I don't know nothing. But anyways, YouTube, that's the end of today's reaction video. That's the end of today's YouTube video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys like the video, comment, and subscribe. Get me to 300 subscribers. And uh, yeah, that's it for this week's YouTube video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.